Hey guys, so it's almost time for back to school, so that means we are bringing back meal vlogs because I now have time to do this again. Um, it is Friday, so we are having pizza tonight, and we are not going to eat all this pizza, guys. This is a lot of pizza. However, everybody likes a different type of pizza. So I have one person that likes a cheese pizza. I like supreme pizza. And then two people in the house like the three meat pizza. So we this is like two days worth of food for us. We aren't going to eat all this, but because everybody likes something different, I make three at a time. We just have spaghetti, and in the sauce, I will usually put some peppers and onions or spinach, some sort of vegetable in there when we're having a spaghetti day if we're not going to have a salad on the side, and that's pretty much it. I was going to make homemade garlic bread, but the day got away from me, so it just didn't happen. We had ranch pork chops with broccoli and mashed potatoes. Tonight I was going to make buttermilk biscuits, but the day got away from me. I didn't have vinegar. It was a whole mess, so I made these rolls. However, I haven't made rolls in a really long time. They turned out ginormous, but that's okay. I know for next time. So we're just going to have these rolls right along with the chicken pot pie soup that I made. It's... Uh, Normally, I would make chicken pot pie in the oven with the buttermilk biscuits on top, but because my plan didn't go so well, uh, we're just having it as a soup <laughs> instead. We're having scalloped potatoes from a box, mixed vegetables, and chicken thighs, and all I used was that O'Reilly seasoning right on top. I use that stuff all of the time, and I'm going to show you what it looks like here in a couple clips. Barbecue pork chop, a little bit of macaroni and cheese from a box because I'm not trying to make that from scratch right now. And then broccoli. We also have the rolls that I made a few days ago um, that we're trying to finish up. With pasta sauce, I've got some canned, like crushed tomato, diced tomato in there. And then these are turkey meatballs. I made beef meatballs for everybody else. Um, and then I have a few turkey meatballs left over that I'm going to put in the fridge um, for lunch the next two days. I think that's probably enough for two days. And the noodles we like to use when we don't want to have like regular spaghetti noodles are these ones here. They're like mini lasagna noodles. They hold the sauce and my youngest really likes them. We're having kielbasa, roasted potatoes, and steamed green beans. Now I take the potatoes, dice them up, toss them in some olive oil and Riley seasoning. Put the kielbasa sausage on top so that way the I don't know it kind of just helps with the flavoring and I bake that in the oven for a little bit uh, and then I just steam the green beans with some butter and salt and pepper after it's done you know kind of just toss it together um, but I'm going to show you what this Riley's all seasoning looks like so that way you can look for it uh, in your store I don't know if you can get your hands on it but it's it's my favorite I use it pretty much on everything <laughs> and tonight we're just having an easy everybody for themselves kind of dinner uh, these are the Tyson honey battered chicken fingers uh, we haven't had these before we figured we'd give them a try I probably am not gonna buy them again they were not something that we like I don't think we really like sweet chicken fingers we prefer more of this savory and I had this avocado salad that you can get from Walmart. It's one of my favorite make-it-yourself kind of kits. Uh, get them all the time, and I absolutely love them. I've tried the others, but so far that's been like my favorite. And then Seth just had breakfast for dinner. It's kind of what happens on Everybody for Themselves night. There was also leftover spaghetti and meatballs. We are having steak. Um, and that's a one sauce because I have to have a one sauce. Uh, mixed vegetables and have a macaroni, but I didn't want any. The last meal for this grocery trip uh, is going to be the Parmesan pork chops, green beans, and we finished up the potatoes in the cabinet. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it. The next meal vlog will be up in roughly two weeks. It's going to follow the day after the grocery haul. 